Hello everybody, welcome back. Now it's time to uh, tie another Salma fly. It's gonna be Black Gear Spirit Fly number one. It's the first time ever I tie that one. Uh, but, but yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So I, I have the whole weekend available. So, so yeah, let's uh, try to do this, uh, make a nice close up uh, tying it. It's not an easy fly at all, but that, that's the fun part. So yeah, why, why don't we begin? So let's continue. Okay, so we're starting with the gold uh, tinsel, oval gold tinsel in the back. <coughs> so I'm gonna use a clear wax. And then we're gonna take this piece. Just attach it to the hook. A few strong wraps of thread. And then I'm going to use this tool and just applying a few wraps of the golden oval tinsel. Touching that one, tying in the leftover thin set, just tying it in forward. the leftovers <coughs> so I'm just gonna build up a little bit for the silk that's gonna sit here I see I need to change battery as well in the camera There's a good tying point for the silk. So let me take that one, adding it underneath the hook. Oops, so I thought. Let's redo that one. Now it's attached. I'm back again, had to change battery. So, what I'm gonna do here is just to tighten the silk. There we are. So then let us start with the silk. So tight wraps, overlapping backwards. Uh, 
and then forward again. Oops, another one there just in case. I lost the grip a little bit there. Winding the thread backwards just to secure the silk. And there the silk is secured. One more wrap. And I change removing the gloves. <coughs> Tie this one in full grain. That means to the middle. Yeah, I'm starting to taper the the gills. back again then and then as always building up a little bit of a tying point here for the tails and this pattern is two tails Wax. And then we have the first tape of the Golden Free Set. again it's time for tail number two little bit of wax and here we have tail two again with this one then.
and I'm gonna slide in the right position. in as well just to make sure to secure it going back with the black wax because now it's time for your ostrich shirt Is there. So her time. Position the hurl a little bit. <coughs> Let me see what I can do here. So there we are. Now it's much better. So Tight wraps. I think that would be sick. Would be okay. So moving back with the thread, securing the ostrich shell and tying the ostrich shell in. leftovers and there you have your tag the first of many so we have an orange floss sink so let me see what we do about that
the new five equal one two Now we know the sections, very short sections. So I'm gonna touch the silk cloth here. The leftovers. I think I'm going to use my gloves, just in case. So, going backwards. with the result so refinding There, I'm trying in the silk and cut the leftovers, removing the gloves. <clears throat> Adding some wax to the thread. Now we have two sections of oval gold tinsel. Not sections, but terms. Um, so adding the tinsel gently and then just tie it in. more it's just gonna state that it's gonna shine between the feathers so in front here we're gonna add red cook so cutting this one off mm. and we take a cook feather and 
uh, it's mentioned it should be just one side. So I remove the feathers from one side then. Hey doggy. Coke feather, so tying that one in, going forward a little bit. And now we have a few wraps of these red cock feathers. Gonna secure it. Cut this one off. Adding some black wax. to have an ostrich child. Another one. Child. 
Hope you're feeling strong now, one. That one will work. So let me see. Keep the leftovers. More bags to the trend. Few tight turns for the ostrich hand. do now is just to repeat this until the front I've not shoot the video with because then the video will be several hours long uh, so I'm gonna start recording again when I'm at the front heckle okay this is the beginning okay so now three parts are done I actually had to under what I did. The first one was a little bit too long, so I went back and changed that. Now it will be looking good. <clears throat> so I'm gonna add some more silk, orange silk. Securing the silk, tying it in with the wax thread. Going back there, cutting off the leftovers. Two turns with the extra small gold tinsel. Is there. <clears throat> so, one turn, two turn, oops. here we are, going backwards with the thread, securing the tin sand. My dog is crazy, trying to he, he got the a bone, so he's trying to hide it. So if he hear strange noises in the background, it would just be him. So. Time for red cock heckle. earlier you strip one side 
on this pattern. Normally I double, but when you tying a hack like this, you don't want it to be bulky. It actually stated for the front tacky look, so also, sorry, and that you need to strip one side. So I'm gonna do that. I normally never do that, but hey, why not? So securing the cock -hackle. I think I'm gonna do this video in two parts. Uh, sorry for that. So after the body, I'm gonna publish uh, part one, and then do a part two with the wing and sides. So it con consists of six toppings. So it's quite a long period between. Let me see. First, I'm gonna build up a little bit there. Let me retie that one in. Uh, my mistake. I forgot to put tension on the thread there. And there we are. So now we can wrap it in. Just a few turns with the hackle. And do one more. So securing the cockhackle, putting some tension on, few wraps, then you can cut off it. Cut it off actually. There we go. So building up a little bit of foundation again. It's time for yet another ostrich shirt. Flexing the trend so I can secure the crop as well. Oh, there we are. 
fetting it off. Time for some orange again. It's okay. okay. Take a bit of orange, I think. This is one of the, I got a few left, it's from Gordon Griffith, a fantastic company back in the days in the UK. Yeah, not really long ago, but yeah, they don't operate anymore, unfortunately. So, floss time. And there, securing it, tying it in. Gold tinsel once again. Just a few wraps. Actually, two wraps to, to be precise. A little bit of wax on the thread. Off. Yeah, got it. So two wraps going backwards with the thread, securing the tin cell. Tying it in, cut the leftovers. Then we have the next cocacin. Of one side. In the cocaclin, few tight wraps.
Oh. Cochlear kill in place. Getting up to the front. Then securing the, the heckle. Cutting the leftover. Then we need to have a front tackle before that. And I go with the purple, it states. <sighs> purple or a very, very dark blue. And since I got purple, and purple is nice breaking you know the color a little bit Once again, it's stated we should strip one side. So I will do that. strong wraps with the thread cutting the leftovers waxing the thread so I can secure it properly and then I think the hacker is too short, I need to find a longer one. I'm not happy with it. Way too short. Let me see what options I got. Not sure. Gonna keep looking.
you see what this one can do. Make better on the street both sides. And the only purple I had was a salt water neck. I use it to tie my tarpon toes. So let me see what we can do. It feels longer, and when I don't strip it one side, then it feels better. So you cut the left over. Now it looks better. <coughs> oh, sorry. So, um, that would be the body of this fly. So that's uh, how you tie the body of this uh, fantastic spirit fly and uh, uh, re really interesting pattern. I like it a lot. Uh, I think I'm going to do a few more uh, later when I'm done with all the doctor uh, flies and rangers and um, yeah, I'm going to do a few D's as well. So if, if you like what, what I'm doing, you know, uh, please subscribe. I'm going to have an icon here and also up here I'm going to have uh, for, for playlist uh, classic salmon flies or whatever i have many many playlists so look around and uh, please support the channel thumbs up hit the bell so you don't miss out any of the new videos coming and if we don't see each other before talk or in the comments whatever facebook instagram merry christmas and have a great new year okay see you in the next video part two of this fly bye